Hello YouTube, this is BSB Slim Hacks, and today I'm going to show you on how to go from Windows 8 to Windows 7. Alright, the first thing you want to do is you want to completely shut down your, um, your computer, so I'm just going to shut it down. Once the computer is shut down, you want to go to your BIOS, and uh, you go to the BIOS by pressing F2, Escape, or Delete. In my case, it's going to be F2. And I'm just going to give you a little note. Uh, if you guys are using a laptop uh, and your F2 is um, in the same color as the FN button, you are going to be required to press FN and then F2. So that's in my case. Your case could be different, but, but in my case it's going to be F2. So I'm just going to turn on the computer. And I'm going to press FN and, and press F2 uh, multiple times. Well, in this case, a lot of times until it boots up into the BIOS. Now that we're in the BIOS, we are gonna do we're we're gonna change some settings around here. We are gonna go uh, to the tab that says Security, as you can see right here. Now in the Security tab, where it says Secure Boot, make sure it's from Enabled, and you wanna disable it. Otherwise, see. Otherwise, if you do not disable it, the computer will not even try to read your Windows 7 operating system CD. So make sure that's disabled. Next, we want to go into the Advanced tab. And where it says, um, here's the Advanced tab. And where it says Virtualization Technology, you want to make sure it's changed from whatever. Currently, mine says VTX only. You want to change that from whatever it is to Disabled. So make sure to disable virtualization technology next we're gonna go down to system configuration under the advanced tab so I'm just gonna press enter and you wanna go all the way down to where it says boot mode and where it says boot mode you have to change it from UEFI boot to um, to CSM boot if you do not do this once once your Windows 7 uh, operating system CD is booting up, it's going to get stuck at the Windows 7 logo. So it's going to just be displaying Windows 7 logo and it's going to be stuck there for good. So make sure it's on CSM boot. Once you've done that, you're set to go. So right now this computer, you just want to go to exit and you want to go to exit, cha ex exit saving changes. So alright, I'm just going to exit saving changes and it's gonna ask you yes or no you obviously you wanna say yes once your computer is shut down you wanna make sure you have your Windows 7 operating system CD so I have mine right here and we're gonna need to uh, boot it up so in order to boot it up is we press on the power button and we press F12 in my case like I said before F12 is in the same color as the FN button, so in my case, I'm going to be pressing FN and F12 at the same time in order to show the boot options. So I'm just going to do that right now. So here, let me find the F12 button. All right, there we go. I'm going to power it on. I'm going to hold F FN and I'm going to be pressing F12 uh, multiple times until it shows the boot menu. And there's the boot menu. Alright, now what we want to do is we want to insert the disk. So I'm just going to. Oops, my CD drive is in the other side. Sorry, guys. So now I need to find the button. Oh, there it is. As you can see, I'm just going to insert my CD. Oops, I'm having a hard time here. There we go. All right. If you guys are using a laptop to to downgrade from Windows 8 to Windows 7, I strongly suggest you to uh, to put um your outlet into your laptop that way in case if that that way in case it doesn't run out of battery and doesn't corrupt the system. So there we go. So now that we're in the boot menu, um I have my Windows 7 operating system in a CD, so I'm going to choose my CD drive, which is this one. It says CD DVD. That's how you know if it's the the CD drive. So I'm just going to use my arrow keys and I'm I'm going to press enter. So 
and it's gonna be booting up into the CD and it says press any key to boot from the CD so just press the space bar or just press any key and now it's gonna boot up or if it, if it says this Windows boot manager just just press enter and then it's, it's gonna say Windows is loading files so I'm just gonna wait Now we're in the main installation window of Windows 7, so you just want to choose your language, your keyboard, and your time. So I'm just uh, your language, I mean. So I'm just gonna click next, and I'm gonna click install now. I'm I'm gonna go right here. I, I accept the license terms, and I'm gonna click next, and I'm gonna go to custom. Now right here where it says custom, yours is going to have the OEM reserve for your computer's manufacturer. I, form I formatted my hard drive before making this video, so that way I won't waste time explaining to you guys what I did or what I'm not. I'm just get getting to the basic, uh, the basic steps in order from downgrading from Windows 8 to Windows 7. So in your case, um, if you have a file such as music, pictures and documents in your Windows 8 I suggest you to cancel this and go back into Windows 8 and back up all your files if you don't care about all the files and programs you have stay stick to this part I'm just gonna go to drive options and I'm gonna format the hard drive and I'm gonna click OK that's what I do I always do that once it's formatted I'm gonna make sure the that the partition or hard drive that I want to install Windows 7 is already highlighted like that this is the only one so mine is highlighted in blue like this and I'm gonna click next and now I'm gonna have to wait so I'm gonna pause this video until this is finished guys I'll be right back at some, at some point once it hits a uh, 100 percent it's gonna be restarting so you just wanna press restart now or you just wanna let the countdown go, the countdown go down so the computer is going to be booting up again and as you notice uh, once once this uh, screen goes out you're going to notice that you're going to see Windows 7 um, booting logo is going to be popping out but it's still not finished installing the operating system so still let's um, let the system continue installing And at this part, you want to wait again, so I'm just going to wait. At some point, it's going to say setup will continue after restarting after restarting your computer. So the computer is going to restart by itself one more time. And if you notice your screen was flashing, that means that the, that the, that the installation was trying to uh, get the correct uh, resolution for your laptop. So right here, the the operating system should should boot up for the first time and it's gonna ask you to enter a name to call to call your computer or laptop and it's gonna ask you to uh, put your name as a uh, username so we're just gonna wait for that and right here this is where where I told you guys that you, you're gonna type a username and a, and type a name for your PC so I'm just gonna name it uh, P I'm just gonna put PSP Slim Hacks, and I'm gonna click Next. Yeah, I don't want to activate it right now. I'm gonna click Next. Uh, I'm just gonna ask ask me later. I'm just gonna choose Central Time USA. Click Next, and I'm just gonna wait for this. Now uh, you're already congratulations. You already have Windows 7 installed. You successfully downgraded Windows 8 to Windows 7. Now the question that you're probably asking yourself: Why is why is everything so big? Well, now that you install a fresh operating system, you're gonna need to install the drivers for your computer or laptop, or I should I should say PC or laptop so the first thing you may notice is that if you have a laptop maybe the Wi-Fi is not gonna be 
it's not gonna the Wi-Fi it's not gonna be connected it's gonna show a problem like this no connection are available it's not even gonna detect the Wi-Fi hardware so for now uh, right now I don't like how it looks so for right now I'm just gonna right click the desktop I'm gonna go to personalize I'm gonna go to the bottom right here where it says display I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna go all the way to the top where it says adjust resolution uh, right here I'm just gonna change the resolution to 1366 by 768 I'm just gonna click OK I'm gonna keep the changes so now it looks a little bit better but you're you're gonna be required to install the latest updates and to do that first we're gonna need to um to have another computer so I'm, I'm gonna be using this computer over here and once once you have that computer ready or whatever second computer you're gonna be using you wanna make sure you know uh, what brand what laptop brand you have or the manufacturer so for example I have a Toshiba I'm just gonna disconnect this I don't need it now no more I have a Toshiba you wanna flip your laptop around and you wanna read um, you're, you're obviously gonna need the manufacturer Toshiba and then settle and then the name of the of the laptop so mine says it's Toshiba satellite and then L855 S5405 you're gonna type go, you're gonna need to go to Google and you're gonna need to type Toshiba sat satellite well in my case I'm gonna need to type all this right here so I'm gonna do that so let's go into this computer guys once in your once you're in the second computer you wanna type in the manufacturer of your laptop the name of the laptop and the model number of your laptop and at the end you want to type in drivers and usually it's going to be the first link that you want to click on because you want to make sure you go to the manufacturer your manufacturers of the laptop or PC website official website don't go to any other website and here's a picture of my laptop I'm gonna go to the tab that that says drivers and updates I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna click on Wi-Fi and this is the part that sucks you have to download one by one until uh, you want to download one by one like I said you wanna save it into a USB and you wanna connect the USB to your laptop or PC and see if that's the correct driver to get your internet and you'll know right away when, when it's not and when it is when it's not it's n nothing's gonna appear right after it extracts the files if it is a little program should run and uh, it's gonna ask you to to click next and click next and install the driver and it should uh, it should install by itself so once um once your once your uh, computer has uh, internet access you want to go to start you want to go to all programs and you want to go to windows updates and this is where you're gonna it's not gonna look like this but it's gonna ask you to uh to search to scan for updates and you wanna once it scans for updates you select the the most important ones which is the 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 video card that's that's usually the only one I installed sometimes I install the the sound the sound driver but most of the time it already uh, it already works with the computer as you were installing the operating system so yeah that's basically it well thank you for watching this video please comment thumbs up and subscribe for more um PC tutorials this is PSP slim hack showing you how to downgrade from Windows 8 to Windows 7 well this is PSP slim hacks bye